Hi, I'm Boone Durham, and welcome to our latest edition of 202 TV. Up this week is the three Bs, basketball, books, and breakout. B number one, if it's winter, must be basketball season. The girls' basketball team is led by three seniors, Bree Haight, Bailey Baldoff, and Lily Sherlow. Uh, we also have three juniors, Madison Scase, Allie Edler, Miranda Luke, uh, two sophomores, Brooke Knopp, Sydney Lindquist, and a freshman, Maddie Schultz. Uh, currently, we are two and three on the year. Uh, we played in the Morrison Thanksgiving tournament. Uh, we went two and two. We beat West Carroll and Galva, and we lost to Orion and Morrison. We also played a non-conference game against Forested, in which we lost by one in overtime. Last year, uh, we had two really good seniors, and uh, we had a lot of senior leadership, and Bree and Bailey as juniors were big uh, parts of the team as well. Uh, this year, we're really young. I start two sophomores and a freshman. The Forreston game, we had a lot of turnovers. I think we ended up with about 28 turnovers on the game, and that's too many in high school. You'd, you'd, ideally, you'd like to see right around 15 turnovers a game. So we left a little bit on the table there. I thought we played hard the entire game. We had some shots that didn't fall, but the girls did a great job of coming back and fighting back. Last year, we ended the regular season with only seven wins, and then we went on a hot streak there during regional week, and so we ended up with 10 wins. I think this year we'll be able to exceed our season win total. Uh, as far as regional goes, that's a year-by-year -year case. Uh, it, it'll all come down to matchups that last week and what team's hot. Hopefully we peak at the right time like we did last year. One thing Lee Wynn schools do well is emphasizing the importance of books and reading. Let's take a look at the elementary school book club. This is the fifth grade book club, and I also do one with fourth grade. The students are chosen by their teachers, and they are known for liking to read good books. So we're delving a little deeper into a book. We meet once a week, and everybody has a job to do as far as what they want to present to the, to the group and tell a little bit more about what they've learned. We also started a blog, and they can comment on the blog and, and do a little more insight as far as finding evidence from the story to support their answer in the blog and we're trying to get them go a little further on the blog and comment on somebody else's comment see if they really like something that somebody else said and maybe get a conversation going so uh the book we're reading now is the paper cowboy and uh it's a good book camden oh. takes the floor <laughs> it's, it's a pretty good book Interactive, high level, and engaging. This describes the junior high's breakout, a simulation game that really challenges our students to think. So the students are going to be working on a, an escape room type of topic, I guess. And there's a bunch of locks they have to unlock, and there are a bunch of clues they have to go through to try to figure out uh, the answers and then try to break into a box and a couple other boxes with locks. They'll be going around the library trying to find clues and um, plugging in a flash drive to try to find the clue from that and just um, applying it to the novel they read in 
split, which is the outsiders. And their goal is to try to get into the big box that's in the center. And that center, that center lock has five locks on it, I believe. And inside of there, there's going to be a prize. But they have to use clues that are all over the library to try to figure out the codes to enter the locks. And they have to kind of take what they know about that, use some character inferencing, and um, look at quotes, and just try to go through and do the best they can to break out. They really don't have any idea what they're looking for when they start. They just go in and try to figure out if uh, this three number the answer fits into a lock or a four-word answer might open a four-letter lock or five-letter lock or a directional lock. They have to try to open one of those as well. So they like to do it. They've done one before. And, um, you know, they seem to have a lot of fun. It's frustrating. They learn from their mistakes, but it seems like a pretty good ending to a big unit. Thinking about attending a four-year college but don't want to drive very far, Columbia College may be just for you. Hi, my name is Heidi Mignon. I'm an admissions recruiter for Columbia College and very happy to be here today to talk a little bit about my school. Um, we are a private liberal arts and sciences college and we offer associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, and master's degrees. Uh, one of the things that really sets us apart is that we have very high quality programs, um, yet we offer them at a low cost. Um, students typically like to look to Columbia College uh, when the following happens. Uh, they really want to save money. Um, people can relate to that. Um, another thing they want to do is they want to avoid student teachers. Uh, we've all heard horror stories about student teachers you can't understand or you know just not as good as a professor and you're never going to have that at Columbia College. Uh, some of the differentiators that you're going to find with Columbia College are, uh, and again we mentioned save money, uh, some of the great things we have is called fixed tuition. What that means is whatever tuition you start with, we're going to lock in that tuition for the next five years. You are not going to have to worry about your tuition going up for the next up to five years. Uh, we don't have out-of-state tuition fees. We are located in Columbia, Missouri, but um, everybody pays the same no matter where they live. At Columbia College, we send students on to graduate school, medical school, law school at double the national average. We're a great school for preparing you for whatever is next, whether that be additional schooling or um, going into the career force. Um, they don't do research, they're very student-centric, uh, which means they have more student hours. Uh, we've got 350 annual on-campus events, we've got 30 plus clubs and organizations. We have 17 NAIA sports teams. We're the top 10 college town in the nation. So that's Columbia College. Um, once you are a student here, and we would love to meet you, Please be prepared to enjoy your classes. You're going to have stimulating discussions um, and ideas that will bring you to places you've never dreamed of. I wish you all the best and look forward to hearing from you soon. That's it for another edition of 202 TV. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Vern Durham. Thanks for joining us.